guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the official Cyber OS 3rd February 2019 build on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and this is the official build again not the build by Rashid yes the Rashid's build is really really good and I have zero complaints regarding that but I wanted to try this ROM the official one of Cyber OS and I wanted to see how this ROM is holding up. So first of all, if you're noticing this logo over here, the Vaulty logo over here says HD and the in-call UI over here in this official Cyber OS does have the call recording option. So you don't need to worry at all regarding Vaulty calling or even call recording on both the sims. Even dual Vaulty and stuff does work super fine. Now over here, the stock camera. Well, this is the thing I am disappointed with with this ROM. And if you're noticing from here, this ROM has this like Snapdragon camera over here. Oops. This Snapdragon camera is not at all good and it takes pretty basic pictures. But the good thing over here is that we do have the camera to API by default right now on this ROM. So you can just install any Pixel 3 camera and it should work fine like this. And as you can see, this works just fine. You can even enable portrait mode and stuff from the settings. Let me just do it. So from here, let's go to advanced. So here, as you can see, we have this enable portrait mode, HDR plus and stuff. So let's just go back here. You have to like force stop this app to like make it working. As you can see, I just force stopped this app. Now let's remove everything from memory and let's open the app again. So right now, as you can see, we do have the portrait mode over here and this works just fine. So you don't need to worry at all regarding camera to API or pixel to camera in this ROM right now. So let me just remove this app from memory and let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and RAM management quickly. And this ROM does have plenty of customization of course because this is a custom ROM and it's supposed to have a lot of customizations and it does have that. So let me open all the apps from memory right now. As you can see, everything feels like pretty smooth. The app open up animation and stuff is pretty smooth. I don't have zero complaints regarding the memory management or even the app opening up animation. There is no stutter at all. So this ROM feels really fluid. And over here, we have this quick step launcher by default, which has this Google Now card to the left. You can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the notification panel. And if you go into the settings, you do get this gestures option. And from here, we do have the double tap to sleep and flashlight and Google search option to double tap. And if I double tap on the blank area on the home screen, the device just locks as you can see. And the fingerprint scanner is pretty fast as you can see. It's not bad at all, but it's not the fastest I would say. As you can see, it takes a couple of seconds to unlock. Now let me just go into the settings and show you the about section and stuff. Inside system, we do have this system updates option over here. So that's a really cool thing. Whenever there is a new update, you will like see it over here. And inside gestures, we have this swipe up home gesture. And of course we do have this double tap to sleep on the nav bar. But for that, you have to use this gesture feature of Pi. So let's go back inside about section and let's go into Android version. Here it shows the Siberia logo on top. Android version is 9 of course as you can see and over here the Siberia version shows as version 2.2 security patch is of still January 5th 2019 of course because it's not February 5th yet and what else we have the kernel version and stuff dirt plus kernel so that is pretty much it regarding this about section over here let me just go back this one does have plenty of customizations it does not lack anything in my opinion over here you do get this even the brightness sliding stuff as you can see you can adjust the brightness by just sliding on the status bar let me increase the brightness a little bit more and over here let me go into display settings here there are like a lot more interesting things here you will get this double tap to wake to and font manager and stuff is there you get plenty of options for fonts but it's not actually like the havoc os or something the fonts option are pretty less when compared to havoc os i guess and I'm not quite sure about it, but there are of course plethora of options you can choose from it. And system UI theme, we have the light, dark, black and Siberia option over here. And accent color option is there, so you can choose from these many accent colors. Pretty like good options. 
and quick setting tiles you can change it to whatever you want right now let me just show you as you can see this is how the quick settings panel looks like so if i change it to this one you have to wait a couple of seconds and if i just do it now as you can see this changed kind of so as you can see this is how it looks like pretty cool stuff and over here you have this switch appearance option so that these switches kind of things looks like the oneplus or the oxygen OS logo you can change it to material design 2 or default option of android pie and what else should i show you well inside sound settings let me just show you here you will get this me sound enhancer uh, sound enhancer you can just enable it like this so this feature is pretty similar with the audio direct but it says the mi sound enhancer over here not the audio direct so over here you can choose from whatever you want I use the youth edition so that's what I like to hear others like other options so from here you can choose from but they are pretty bass heavy in my opinion so that's how I feel and you can even choose presets like rock jazz and stuff so if you're a audiophile or if you are really into music I would suggest you like definitely flashing this ROM because it does have the MI sound enhancer and you can even control these kind of sounds like you can disable the dial pad, screen locking sound, charging sound, touch sounds and touch vibration you can even like turn it off but the vibration of the haptic feedback is pretty premium over here and this does not feel harsh at all and you can even disable the screenshot sound. So I did face one problem in this ROM and this is not related to like any kind of huge bug at all because this just goes away within one or two seconds but this is kind of a problem let me just show you whenever you reboot the device and whenever it gets you to the lock screen let me just show you that this one does not have the like always fingerprint use option so you have to enter the pin once after you reboot the device so as you can see i just rebooted my phone and if i just try to unlock it as you can see the touch is simply not working over here as you can see simply not working and even if i tap over here like tap the fingerprint scanner to unlock now i can't even enter my pin as you can see from here so you might think this is a huge bug but this is just like it just doesn't work for once so if i just tap the lock button once and try to unlock now so whatever i enter as you can see right now the touch is working and it will just unlock fine let me just show you so i entered my pin and now clicking on right as you can see it just unlocked the device like pretty smoothly so that is one bug I have found in this ROM. Let me go into the side video settings. So here things get a lot more interesting and we get a hell lot of customizations over here. I'll just show you quickly what customizations we have so that you can get an idea. And we have the screen of animation and stuff so that you can just do this and the screen of animation changes to the CRT mode and it looks like the old school kind of stuff. So you might like it. This is a pretty cool option. You can change the recents to look like the Pi or Audio. This is how the recents panel look like over here, by the way. And as you can see, you can change it to Audio. Let me just go back inside animations. You can change whole UI animation and stuff. And here you can pretty much change every animation. Inside buttons, we have this haptic action and stuff. Disable keys, long press power button for torch. So this is a really cool feature and I really use it we have the power menu over here you can like enable this advanced reboot let me just show you from the power menu as you can see we do have the advanced reboot option and you have this recovery bootloader and stuff over here so let me just go back so over here we do have this privacy guard if you use privacy guard this might be useful we have this wake lock blocker alarm blocker standby apps we have the sound settings over here you can enable this ring notification alarm whatever you want if you tap the volume button it will show up over here so this is a pretty cool thing let me just go back inside dialer we have this in call vibration options and then we have this pulse flash on incoming like call me why feature by the way and that's pretty much it for this sound and dialer stuff let me just go back inside panels we have the status bar option you can choose from the status bar items from here by default the cyber os logo is turned on but i turned it off anyway and we have this headset bluetooth etc icons over here and even hotspot and stuff and notification ticker option is there you can customize the clock pretty much as like however you want we have this brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar which i already showed you and network traffic 4g icon and vaulty logo is there let me just go back 
inside navigation bar we have this allow navigation bar and nav bar button so you can like swap it and smart bar option is there so that you can control the navigation bars height and stuff as you can see from here it's changing kind of so you can pretty much control it and you can change the navigation bar to smart bar or fling and you can even have this like normal settings of the android pine app bar let me just go back inside notifications you have the quick pull down smart pull down etc stuff heads up disabling option is there notification light option is there for each app and what else we have the vibrate on touch option for quick toggles i guess and you can even control the quick toggle animation from here flip or rotate you can choose from so let me just go back and inside lock screen we have this fingerprint authentication vibration fingerprint error vibration media cover art lock screen charging info and temperature option is there and it does work let me just show you my lock screen as you can see right now it's 13 degree so that's how it is and it shows over here looks pretty dope and you can like you have to set up the weather from here like i did so that's how it is you have to set up the weather then it will show up you can even increase the clock font size and stuff in the lock screen and you can even change the clock and date fonts of the lock screen over here pretty cool inside battery settings we have the battery charging light option you can even have this battery light in do not disturb it does work inside battery icon you can have this big dotted circle and stuff so everything is present circle dotted circle big circle big dotted circle text hidden etc and over here we have this show battery percentage you can change the percentage position like i have set it up to like show it in inside of the icon so that's how it looks like let me just go back inside gestures we have the swipe to take screenshot so if i swipe three fingers it's gonna take a screenshot as you just saw we have the edge gesture functionality and it does work pretty like super fine you don't need to worry about the full screen edge gestures and we even have this navigation gestures this is the normal full screen gesture not the edge gesture kind of this is the one plus kind of gesture and pi controls is there this is a really different feature than android pi double tap to slip on the lock screen and status bar both are here as you can see so you can just like double tap anywhere pretty much to lock the screen so that is pretty cool now let me talk about google pay well i did try google pay at the first starting it was not like at all starting up so i did one thing which i normally do whenever google pay doesn't work so i had to go into the settings then all apps then like find the google play services then go to permissions of the google play services then disable the phone and sms app permission like after you do that set up your google pay everything should be working fine so the rom feels pretty smooth even like you can play pubg in hd settings right now in this rom you don't need to worry at all and even gaming performance and stuff is pretty fine battery life is pretty good i'm getting seven to eight hours of screen on time depending on my usage it differs a little bit with my usage so i'm getting pretty much seven hours of screen on time that i can say so that's how it is guys that's how the cyber os is holding up right now so that is pretty much it give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.